All right, hello, kinder kids. It's Mrs. Fransky, and this week I've got some helpers. I've got Anne. Can you wave, Anne? And Amelia. Amelia's in prep, and Eddie is in grade four, so they are my helpers. Hopefully, it's not too windy and you can hear me. So this week, we've got another story. It's called Wombat Stew, and we've come outside to the playground, and these guys are going to help me make some Wombat Stew. So I'm going to have to listen carefully because of the wind. See how we go. All right. On one day on the banks of a billabong, a very clever dingo, use my dingo, caught a wombat. Now you might have some animals at home, some teddies that can help you today. So here we go. And he decided to make some wombat stew. Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Platypus came ambling up the bank. Good day, Dingo, he said, snapping his bill. What is all that water for? Have you guys got some water in there? No. All right, I'm brewing up a gooey, chewy stew. With that fat wombat, replied Dingo with a toothy grin. If you ask me, said Platypus, the best thing for a gooey stew is mud. Big blops of billabong mud. Have you got some mud in there, guys? There we go. Blops of mud, Dingo laughed. <laughs> what a good idea. Rightio, in they go. So Platypus scooped up big blocks of mud with his tail and tip them into the billy can. Now, we don't have a platypus, but we've got a crocodile. So you see what teddies you've got at home and you can help make some wombat stew too. So around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang, Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Okay, what's next? Right, waltzing out from the shade of the iron bark came Emu. Have we got an Emu? We've got an Emu and Mew's got an Emu. She arched her graceful neck over the brew. Oh no, Dingo, she fluttered. What have we here? Gooey, chewy, wombat stew, boasted Dingo. Oh, if only it were a bit more chewy, she sighed. But don't worry, a feather will set it right. Feathers, Dingo smile. That would be chewy. Rightio, in they go. Have you got some feathers? There they go, putting it in. All right, so into the gooey brew, Emu dropped her finest feathers. You put some of the feathers in, Amelia. Good job. Around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Are you guys dancing and singing as well? <laughs> wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy wombat stew. Keep that fire going, Eddie. Old blue tongue the lizard. Have we got a blue tongue lizard? We've got the best. This is as close as we could get to a lizard. Okay. Came sliding off his sun-soaked stone. Dingo, he hissed. There are no flies in this stew. Can't be wombat stew without crunchy flies in it. And he stuck out his bright tongue. There's a lot of lot to be said for flies, said Dingo, rubbing his paws together. Rightio, in they go. So Lizard snapped 100 flies. 100 flies, Amelia. I think that's about 20. Got some more? About 50. Keep going. Keep going. And we're nearly there. 89, 90. A few more. 99, 100. There we go. In they go. So Lizard snapped 100 flies from the air with his long tongue and flipped them into the gooey, chewy stew. Around and round the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Let's help him out. Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy wombat stew.
keep that fire going. Oh, we need a kidna. Up through the red dust popped a kidna. Now we've got a teeny tiny kidna. <laughs> Here we go. Wait a bit. Not so fast, said Briss. He bristled, shaking the red dust from his quills. Now I've been listening to all this advice and take it from me for a munchy stew. You need slugs and bugs and creepy crawlies. Have we got... Oh, there's a colourful bug. Any more creepy crawlies? Oh, all right. Dingo wagged his tail. Have you got a little doggy who could wag his tail? Why, I should have thought of that. Rightio, in they go. So Echidna dug up all sorts of creepy crawlies and dropped them into the gooey, chewy, crunchy stew. The very clever dingo stirred and stirred while singing. Are you stirring, Amelia? Can you stir the, the stew? Give it a big stir. All right, and he's going to sing again. Wombat stew, wombat stew, hot and spicy, oh so nicey, wombat stew. wonder what wombat's thinking about this. Looks a bit worried. Right. Oh, look who we need now. Just then the sleepy-eyed koala climbed down from the scribbly gum tree. Where's our koala, Eddie? Where is it? Oh, there he is. Wake him up. Look here, he yawned. Any bush cook knows you can't make a spicy stew without gum nuts. Leave it to a koala to think of gum nuts. Dingo laughed and licked his whiskers. Rightio, in they go. And into the gooey, chewy, crunchy, munchy stew, koala shook lots of gum nuts. Got some gum nuts? Put them in, koala. Good job, all right. Now, aha! cried the dingo. Now my stew is missing only one thing. What's that? asked the animals. That fat wombat. <gasps> Wait! Stop! Hang on, dingo. You can't put that wombat in the stew yet. Ooh. Why not? <laughs> you haven't tasted it. Rightio, I'll taste it. All right, can you bring the stew over here, Amelia? Or Eddie? Let me have a taste. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yum, oh. Rightio, I'll taste it. And that very clever dingo bent over the billy and took a great big slurp. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, I poisoned he how You all tricked me. You tricked me. And he dashed away, deep into the bush, never to sing again. <gasps> I think that Wombat is happy now that all his friends looked after him. Like Amelia, she's going to be a good friend to you guys when you come to school. And Eddie, he'll be a big grade five next year. And where's Anne? Oh. Here's Anne. Anne will be a good friend too. So well done. Maybe, kinder kids, you can make some wombat stew at home. Find all your teddies. So what were some of the things they're going to need? Lizard. Lizard. Flies. Flies. Need some mud. Koala. Yep. Some creepy crawly. Some gum nuts. gum nuts. Lots of things. Okay, so have Even fun. Even a wombat. Even a wombat. See if you can have fun making your own wombat stew, kinder kids. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. And a stick out of bye -bye. staring.